The best exercise you can do for growing your hamstrings is the deadlift. And there are a variety of different deadlifts you can do. There's the conventional deadlift, the single leg Romanian deadlift, the Romanian deadlift, and then there's also the sumo deadlift. Today we're going to be going over the sumo deadlift using dumbbells. Welcome back to Total Body Training. My name is Jean Carlos, and if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please click the subscription button. On this channel, we go over fitness tips, trends, and tutorials to help you stay informed and get in shape. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Let's begin. You're going to take your two dumbbells and place them on the ground. You're going to walk up to the dumbbells and make sure that the dumbbells are sitting in between your feet. They're close together, but not touching each other. And you're going to start off standing in this position and arching your spine, and then stepping forward and standing into a sumo stance position. This is similar to what you would see with a sumo wrestler, very wide position. And you're gonna turn your feet out. Everyone's sumo looks a little bit different. For more on this, you can watch this video right here by Ashton Ruska, where he teaches you his sumo deadlift. His looks very different than mine. I like to take a much wider position. Part of that is because my legs are longer. If your legs are a little bit shorter, then you might not look like I do with my sumo deadlift. But either, either, either way, what separates a sumo from a conventional is the width of where your feet are. So just make sure that you're actually standing in that sumo position for your sumo deadlift. From there, you're gonna turn your toes slightly out, sumo style, and you're going to bend over at the waist. Make sure that your lats are packed before you bend over. So you take your chest, you roll it back like you're Johnny Bravo, and then you hip hinge at the waist and you bend your legs and grab the dumbbells. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to arch your spine slightly up, and you're gonna bring the dumbbells up for the actual starting position of the movement, which is just a little bit below the shins, but it's not all the way on the ground with these dumbbells. If these were plates, if we were doing, say, a barbell sumo deadlift with a standard version of that exercise, you would be touching the ground with your plates. You would never really touch the ground with your barbell. But essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna start from that position where it's vertical to your ankles, so to speak, or near your shins, and the dumbbells are very close to your body at this position. The dumbbells should be hanging somewhat over the tongue of your shoe, so they're close to your legs. You're going to arch your spine, look slightly up ahead of you, and then come up and then you're going to bend over at the waist. This is called a hip hinge. And as you're hip hinging, bend your legs a little bit in the movement. Come back up, keeping your back nice and flat and arched, and then go back down in the movement. There are a variety of mistakes that people make with deadlifting. Today, we're gonna to go over some of the most common mistakes. The first one is turning your sumo deadlift into a sumo squat. The deadlift is a hip hinge motion. That means that you're bending over at the waist. The squat is a quad dominant position where you are completely going down in the movement and coming back up using your legs. And you're not really trying to bend over so much when you're doing the movement. The difference is, is that when you're squatting, you engage your quads more. When you're deadlifting because you're bending over at the waist more, you're engaging your hamstring. So make sure that when you go to set up for this movement, that you still are bending over at the waist first or coming up from the back first when you're doing the position and that when you're going back down, you're not jutting your knees forward and sitting very upright in the position because then you're not really going to engage your hamstrings, your glutes, and your low back in the same way. It's not that sumo squatting is wrong, it's just that it's not applicable in this situation. And you're not gonna get any of the back activation that you should from a hip hinge motion or the hamstring activation. So just make sure that you're actually bending over and hip hinging at your waist. Part of how you fix that is by keeping your chest very upright and actually bending over at the waist in the movement. If you need to practice this, and you feel like you're not getting it right, record yourself doing it with no weight in your hands. Maybe like a PVC pipe or something else or just body weight. Record yourself doing the movement and bending over at the waist while you're doing it. And with time, you'll be able to fix it. The next mistake is rounding your back. And this is probably the most common mistake. When you go to set up for the movement, you need to make sure that you're packing your lats. You're rolling your shoulder blades back and holding your chest up. I call this a Johnny Bravo chest. If you know who Johnny Bravo is, he is a cartoon character from 
Cartoon Network, I believe, and he always had his chest up and forward. And part of that, that show off chest, that proud chest, that Johnny Bravo chest, that packing of the lats is going to keep your back so tight that you can't not round it. So what I'm saying here is that make sure that you're keeping everything rolled back and tight while you're bent over in the position and then keep it that way the entire way that you're coming up. Do not let the shoulders crowd your neck and roll forward. This is a good way to pull your back or something like that in the movement. It also just isn't very efficient. What you're actually doing is something called a Jefferson curl. So that's more of a flexibility training exercise and that's not what we're trying to go for here and that could actually hurt you. So make sure you keep your spine arched and your chest open like Johnny Bravo. The next mistake is hyperextending your back in the deadlift. I see this one a lot. People will come up out of the position and then throw their hips really forward. So they're hyperextending their back and then going back down. This could hurt your lower back. This is a quick fix. All you have to do is come up out of the position and stand up straight like you've got good posture, like you're just standing up very straight and then come back down. Do not hyperextend and push your hips forward. You're not really supposed to move your hips and thrust them forward in this position anyways to begin with, so just make sure that they're in a good angle while you're doing the movement, and that's really all you have to do to fix it. The next mistake is bringing your hips up before you bring your upper back up. Again, a lot of these mistakes can be fixed by making sure that your chest and your back are very tight and arched and keeping it that way the whole time. If your hips are coming up early and you've been tightening your back and you feel like you still can't fix it that way, then chances are you need to go down and wait and figure out how to fix the movement with less weight so that you can eventually graduate to doing more weight with the movement. The next mistake is buckling your knees in. This one is incredibly common with the sumo deadlift. So essentially what happens is, is that people will not be used to standing wide <laughs> in a movement. They're used to doing maybe a conventional or doing a straight leg, a deadlift, uh, doing a conventional deadlift where your toes are facing in or they never really sumo squat. So they're not really used to this. And what happens is, is that your knees buckle in towards the center and they are not in alignment with the rest of your leg, which can create knee problems and all sorts of stuff. So how you fix this is by externally rotating your knees and pushing them out while you're at the bottom of the movement, activating your thighs and activating your quads and continue to feel the sensation that you're pushing your knees out in the opposite direction the entire time that you're doing the movement, even when you're coming up and when you're going back down and keeping it there. Part of how you fix this is by starting the movement out with getting that engagement in the thighs and the outer parts of your quads or your glutes. So make sure that right at the very beginning you already feel like you're pushing them out and creating that tension so that the knees are less likely to buckle in. All right, people, I hope you enjoyed this video. Question of the day. Do you prefer to sumo deadlift, conventional deadlift, or Romanian deadlift? Let me know down in the comments section below. Personally, I love to sumo deadlift, and I specifically love sumo deadlifting with the barbell. I almost hit a 500 pound sumo deadlift a couple of years ago, back when I was really trying to push my one rep maxes. Let me know what your favorite is, and let me know if you have hit any big PRs or anything like that. Let me know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. All right, people, until next time, peace.